Zubra Chiloba has spoken in his first TV interview since the August 8th and repeat presidential election on the 26th of October 2017. Chiloba says the IABC did a commendable job given the prevailing circumstances at the time. In the exclusive interview, he also told Katie and Sophia Onuna why insist on going back to the Electoral Commission even after failing, falling out with the chairman of Fulachi Bukati. Take a look. One year since the 2017 general election, the presidential election, the first time round, being annulled, forcing a repeat election, we get to take stock of just some of the key events around that time. And of course, in the past one year, and tonight I'm speaking to the CEO of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, that's Ezra Chiloba. Thank you for making time for us. The Supreme Court found there were illegalities, irregularities in that election. So do you still oppose and disagree with their finding? You've got to go back and analyze that decision. When the court said there were illegalities or irregularities, what did they mean? What was actually, uh, what is it that the court was talking about? I've heard many people talk about uh, or, or messing up with the numbers. Uh, but the bottom line is, if you look at the thematic area, the court highlighted as irregularities and illegalities, you'll be surprised. When the court talks about illegalities, mm -hmm. they talk about electoral offenses committed by the party that, re that the president ran on, that is Jubilee. It was never about the commission, that, that section. But when it comes to irregularities, the emphasis is on the form, the form of the form, <laughs> if, 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 if I can phrase it that way. Mm -hmm. How did the forms appear? And what I'm measuring on was the issues to do with the, 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 the discrepancies that we've just talked about. Uh, you do not have barcodes in some of the forms, or there's no signature. Uh, by a presiding officer. Which are officers. crucial because that's what IBC had promised would happen and then there are instances that was... Yeah, and which I've said, yeah. there are certain things that, ha that happened, okay. but there was no deliberate uh, 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 effort by officers to play or sabotage the electoral process. Politics almost took hostage the commission in as far as on one side, you had NASA saying you must go. You could not continue to be in office. There were protests around the scene. Then on the other side, you had uh, the, deputy governor, uh, the deputy president, I beg your pardon, at one point uh, saying that he was aware of the chairman of the commission having night meetings with uh, political players so that both sides suspicious of each other within the commission and all these players saying these things, speak, looking as if some were supporting this camp and the country is watching and seeing all of this and saying these people, politics has infiltrated the commission. Now, I mean, if you look at the, the role of the commission under the constitution, you'd always become a target at a given point in time. A lot of things would be said about uh, the institution, the individuals who are there, uh, partly because we control access to political power. <laughs> I mean, if you look at it, uh, we control access to uh, political power. and. Given that situation, is it control. I thought the control is with the people. You facilitate the process of the people. Yeah, controlling. I mean, what I meant is, yeah. is, a, is a, it's a simple way of 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 uh, uh, presenting. Because controlling but that the, means you what, decide. But that's not what I mean. What okay. I mean is that we more or less regulate. Actually, if you have to mm -hmm. be more, you regulate access to power by ensuring that we have. Because of that responsibility, there's a lot of tension that is likely to emanate in the political sphere, mm -hmm. being a democracy. And people say all manner of things. They will try to, 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 to want to have control over uh, uh, the institution. And your responsibility, as it is under the Constitution, right. is it, you have to be able to, to, to stand firm. You have to be able to, 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 to work independently, mm -hmm. yeah, in spite of all the, the challenges surrounding uh, uh, the political pressure. So finally, free, yeah. finally, Msando, the late Chris Msando, one year since he died, just marked the other day, family continues to moan, and the saddest part is to date, no answer. He was an official in the commission. 
he believed in a clean, proper system working to deliver to Kenyans. And for that, he was gruesomely killed. And in terms of IEBC or you even as CEO pushing for answers to help the family to be able to close this, what do you say? Those who say IEBC just, you know, left them to their fate. No, I mean, it's a sad thing that we have to discuss that matter over and over again. You know, Musano was killed just a week before the election, and that was devastating for all of us. Um, yeah, it was devastating for, uh, devastating for all of us. We hoped that by now we'll have seen a bit of progress. Uh, I know that there were investigations that were conducted, or they were being conducted. Um, there were interviews that were conducted, uh, people or, uh, were summoned to be able to, you know, narrate their side of the story. Um, but, I mean, since I left, uh, uh, I think the last inter uh, interview that I'm aware of, I think, happened in January uh, this year. But I've not been able to get the, uh, what has transpired since then, given the... Uh, internal challenges that we've had uh, mm -hmm. at the Commission. Mm -hmm. But it's always important that as a country we must learn uh, on how to bring matters that touch on life to closure. Uh, because that is when we can be assured that if something ever happens to us who are still living, we'll always have justice uh, uh, being done uh, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, it's now one year, uh, we still uh, uh, are, are pained by the fact that uh, that had to happen to Chris. Uh, we still are pained by the fact that uh, no much progress is being uh, demonstrated so far. And we hope that this year will be the time to be able to bring that matter to, to, to a closure. Mm. And that election officials uh, our work is not easy. Uh, I think we'll be able to get to a point where we'll say we have a culture of tolerance. Um, so far, we can also say it's a lot of, there's a lot of speculation. Uh, you can't for certain say this is the reason why he was, he was murdered. Okay. Yeah, but we say that if it's related to uh, the political process or the electoral process, then it's very, very sad. Uh, it may mean it can happen to someone else uh, in future. Okay. Yeah. So what is keeping you at IBC now? Because anyway, for how many months is it? You've not been in office. A suspension, you got challenged to court, you're reinstated the day after another one? Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is that I'm not in office because <laughs> I'm not in office. Exactly. Yeah, so, so why stay and fight the battle to be back in office? What is this thing you're hoping to go and do in IEBC? I mean, it's my constitutional right to, to, do, to be able to defend myself at mm -hmm. uh, every given point uh, if, if, if there is need. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. So once you defend your rights, which you say you have every right to, so you'll still go back despite the strained relations, like still look forward. What is this thing, back to that question, that, or is it just for you to clear your name, or is this one thing, two things you still hope to do at no, I mean, the commission? I, 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 as a matter of principle, I've said okay. uh, that I'm doing what I'm doing because I should be able to defend my constitutional right. And if it's about leaving the commission, I should be able to leave uh, when I think it's appropriate. to Speak to us uh, a little bit also around the decision on who would vie in the repeat presidential election. Uh, because we saw a lot of, you know, this position is put out, this will be the candidates, Raila Odinga, Uhuru Kenyatta, it was challenged, then different. Uh, there's a lot of back and forth editing of that list. Um, what authorities were you relying on at the time? What was informing the various positions and changes? And what do you think is important to happen uh, to secure a very clear process if the country finds itself in a similar position? Yeah, we, we got ourselves uh, in legal uh, quagmire at the time, deciding as to who becomes the... Uh, presidential candidate in the October election. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, we had different legal opinions uh, presented to, to us. Um, there was one school of thought that said that uh, at the minimum, mm -hmm. we must have at least the three candidates uh, participating. Yeah. That is uh, 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 President Uhuru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. Honorable Ray Lodinga, and Ekuru Alcott, uh, based on the interpretation mm -hmm. of the, uh, uh, the Ray Lodinga case in 2013. Mm -hmm. um, then there was another school of thought that said, uh, based on that decision, only two candidates would be eligible uh, to run. Mm -hmm. And, and in, this get, in this case was Honorable Ray Lodinga, and uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta. So when those two uh, schools of thought presented their case, uh, the commission made the decision that we're going to go with the two candidates. Thank you very much for being with us, CEO, the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, Ezra Chiloba. One year since the 2017 general elections.